Hi, this is Brad from thepress.org and the original USA Powerlifting Forum at usapowerliftingforum.com. We're doing something a little differently this time for the edition of Interview. We're going to do it on YouTube and the first person we're going to interview is now the 114 Raw National Champion, Maura Shuttleworth. So we'll see what she has to say and it uh, should be pretty interesting. Maura, uh, tell us a little about yourself, how you got into powerlifting, background, that kind of stuff. Give us a 10,000 foot view of your entry into powerlifting. Well, my entry into powerlifting, that could be a long story. Um, I was a gymnast in high school and college, and then I took a weight training class in high school just on a fluke, really. Um, it was like, ooh, weightlifting, that sounds like fun. And I was one of only two girls in the class, um, so we were lifting partners, the two girls. And when I started, I could barely bench the bar, but I think given my gymnastics background, I increased my bench press really quickly. Um, and I think by the end of my senior year in high school, I could bench um, 140 was what I did, and that would be raw, because um, I had never even heard of powerlifting. Um, so I just thought it was like this useless skill to be able to bench press a lot of weight. Um, and then when I graduated from college, I was working out at health clubs, and this is years later. And one of the trainers came up and said, oh, you're really strong, you should try out powerlifting weights. She's like, oh, okay. So I went and did a bench press meet, and that was really fun, and I wanted to do more. Um, and then I kind of researched organizations, and I found USA Powerlifting, and I thought this is the kind of organization I want to compete with because of the drug-free lifting, um, and also because of the association with the International Powerlifting Federation and the kind of world competition that we have. Great, great. And uh, what's, give us a background, you know, beyond powerlifting, because everyone that's seen you online knows that your whole history on uh, powerlifting and your strength sports and everything else. What do you do outside of powerlifting? Uh, what other sports you're involved in? Or what do you do for a living, for example? Um, well, other sports, I started out when I was a little kid, actually, playing softball, um, and which is kind of funny. And I think that kind of instilled the competitive drive in me. It was great. My dad would go out every day, pretty much in the summer, and have daddy practice 20 hacks every day. And he would invite the neighborhood boys over to play with me. <laughs> so good background, you know. Um, then I got into gymnastics, and I always wanted to do gymnastics. Um, I was kind of old when I started gymnastics, so I wasn't a very good gymnast. Um, I'm a way better power lifter. Um, and then, lucky for me, when I was done doing gymnastics, I found powerlifting. Um, I've also done some cross-country races, and believe it or not, run two half marathons. Running and powerlifting. What an odd, odd combination. It seems like all roads led back to powerlifting. That's pretty cool. So, now that with, um, with your a lot of contests and powerlifting all under your belt, so what is your best experience, most enjoyable memory of powerlifting, either on or off the platform? Because I mean, you've been around the world, you've lifted tons of meets locally in Minnesota. What sticks out in your mind, or what couples, you know? Oh, uh, I don't think I can take it down to one thing that sticks out in my mind. You know, one of the things I've been really fortunate is to be on several world teams, and it's always just such an honor to be on the world teams and to be with that caliber of lifters and um, get to just hang around those people, it's amazing. You know, I was on the Bench Press Worlds team this year in Prague in the Czech Republic, and that's just a beautiful place. Um, I'd probably never get to go to if I wasn't powerlifting. Um, but what was really impressive is just the caliber of the people on our teams. And for instance, you'll see world champions like Mike Hara back in the warm-up room all weekend long, helping the other lifters, you know, talking to the movies, helping us out. Uh, it's just, you know, the people in powerlifting are really phenomenal. Sounds like camaraderie is a big thing, and I think that's a lot of people love. It. That's pretty cool to hear. Now, you, as we were touching on before, you this is a, you're uh, you're part of the first. We're actually interviewing from the first annual uh, USAPL uh, Raw National Championships, and you just won. What brought you to this contest? Was it just the the area a contest and meet to do? Were you drawn to raw lifting, or was it just just the bug? Bug up your butt to lift some more. Well, I love to compete, um, so you know, anytime I get a chance to do a meet, I love to do that. Um, but part of the reason I came to this meet is I really believe in raw lifting, and you know, I am friends with some gear manufacturers, and I love Titan Support Systems and Pete Allen's, and he's been nothing but good to me. But I really think that some of the gear is bad out of hand, especially Ben shirts, and I'd like to see powerlifting go more to a raw movement. Um, so I wanted to support that. Um, and then I've been lifting with Fawn Friday, and she was going to do it. Um, so since we trained together, that just made it all that much more fun. Excellent. Back to camaraderie. That's pretty cool. Well, congratulations on your win, uh, by the way. 
And the next question is a little more, a little more serious: is uh, drugs. Uh, everyone has their point of views uh, from every extreme. What is your opinion of drug use? Um, I think there's no place for it in the USAPL, um, and I'm very anti-drug use. That's one of the reasons I chose to compete with USA Powerlifting is because we do drug test 10% of every lifter, of all the lifters at every meet, and also um, there's out of contest testing. And I think that's really important because to me, part of the reason that we do this is to be healthy. And I come to powerlifting from more of a general fitness background than just, you know, I want to go out there and lift this ton of weight. And especially being a woman, that's just not attractive. Okay. And no. <laughs> I kind of also view myself as an ambassador for women's powerlifting. And when I started powerlifting back in, well, this is a long time ago, 1999, um, there weren't that many women lifting in the state of Minnesota. I think there were three of us that consistently did meets. Um, two of us right were now. still around. Um, and it was really kind of disheartening for me because I didn't feel like women's powerlifting was that welcomed. And so I really went out of my way to welcome other female lifters into the sport, or at least I try at every local meet I go to. Um, but it's been great because now, as you can see, we've kind of got a little team going of the women in Minnesota, and it's just phenomenal to have that. Um, and But also, I like to kind of be an ambassador to the outside people who don't know anything about powerlifting, and to let them know that you can be feminine and strong. Yes, you can, very much so. And well, thank you. That's uh, that's a good input, and we, we always use more people like yourself because you know women's lifting was virtually unheard of, uh, not too distant past. Now it's become a very big thing, and also judging from the turnout here, that uh, reinforces that fact. Uh, I guess my last question is: anything else you want to add to this uh, this discussion? Um, it was just a phenomenal meet, and you know I'd really like to thank Fun Friday and Anna White who've been training with me, and especially Fawn Friday, because she's just phenomenal. Um, and she even learned how to put on a bench shirt to help me train her worlds. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you, Maura. That's, uh, that's uh, very good things to hear. And uh, that concludes this episode of Interview. Check back next time for Fawn Friday. And we're done.